Clonazepam, which goes by the trade name Clonopin, is one of the main treatments to control symptoms of REM sleep behavior disorder, or RBD. But why can this medication sometimes be a double-edged sword when it comes to treatment? I'm Dr. Andy Burkowski of Relax Health, and today's topic is clonazepam for RBD. REM sleep behavior disorder, again, is the acting out of one's dreams during rapid eye movement or REM sleep. Normally, the body is paralyzed, the muscles do not move, but in certain conditions or for unclear reasons altogether, people with this condition can become unparalyzed during their dream sleep and have yelling, screaming, conversations, and even purposeful and violent movements that can cause injury to oneself or a spouse who's sharing the bed with them. So in terms of treatment, the first and most important thing is safety precautions in the bedroom. And once those are taken, then sometimes substances slash medications can be used. And the first line is typically melatonin, not because it's necessarily more effective than clonazepam, but high doses of melatonin are relatively well tolerated and have very few side effects. But let's say an individual with REM sleep behavior disorder needs a stronger treatment. The behaviors are very disruptive either to a family member or to the patient himself or herself, they may consider clonazepam. Now, clonazepam is in a group of drugs called benzodiazepines. They're sedative hypnotic drugs. They basically slow the brain down. They can be used for seizures. They can be used for panic attacks. They can be used for anxiety, many other effects in the brain. It's not fully understood how benzodiazepines can decrease the behaviors in REM sleep behavior disorder, but it seems like it is the most effective proven drug for the condition. However, benzodiazepines like clonazepam have a huge number of side effects, and that's where the double-edged sword comes in. Even at low doses, clonazepam could last a day or two in the system. So if an individual takes it every night, the drug can start to build up. And again, this is a drug that depresses brain function. It slows the brain down. It's like driving a car and hitting the brakes. So it can lead to side effects that include dizziness, drowsiness, fatigue or tiredness, and also problems such as imbalance. So this is not particularly good for people with Parkinson's disease or other neurological disorders who have trouble with these things in the first place. So it can increase risk of falling, uh, it can impair cognition, so the ability to concentrate or think. So it doesn't always occur, but it is that these side effects are quite common with the use of clonazepam. And again, the drug starts to build up and after several weeks, it can really cause a lot of side effects. The other big issue is this is a drug that can cause chemical dependence. This means that once an individual is on clonazepam, particularly for several months, it could take several more months to taper off and be completely off the medication. So it really is a question of whether this drug is desperately needed for REM sleep behavior disorder. So again, if safety precautions are taken, spouses are sleeping in say a separate bed or a separate bedroom, and, and the room is safe, REM sleep behavior disorder is not actually disruptive to sleep itself. So if injury can be avoided and any of the conversations or even yelling or screaming is not stressful uh, to the family or, or to the patient themselves, then really no treatment is an option when it comes to this condition. There's no long-term change in the condition by taking any medication, whether it's melatonin or clonazepam. So the bottom line is clonazepam comes with several risks, and they are pretty serious risks, particularly for the population of people who may develop REM sleep behavior disorder. But it's one that definitely can be used and used effectively for the condition if needed. But these are things to really think about if starting on this medication for any reason, really, but particularly for REM sleep behavior disorder and have a nice discussion of the pros and cons of the drug with a physician, uh, such as a movement disorders or a sleep physician who may be treating this condition. As always, 
This video is for general medical information only, does not constitute the practice of medicine. Decisions on REM sleep behavior disorder, clonazepam, or any other medical condition should be made under the care of a licensed medical individual. And as I always like to say, one of the keys to sleeping well is to relax.